Let's do one final example, this time with nicotine. It turns out that 74.07% of the mass of nicotine is carbon, 8.65% is hydrogen, and 17.28% is nitrogen. Let's use this information to calculate the empirical formula. Because these are written as percentages, we can just express them as grams. So I have 74.07 grams of carbon, 8.65 grams of hydrogen, 17.28 grams of nitrogen. And I'm going to leave hydrogen and nitrogen just as H and N. We're just looking at the atoms. We're not talking about the diatomics. And I'm going to convert those to moles. And so I get 6.17 moles of carbon. I get 8.58 moles of hydrogen. I get 1.23 moles of nitrogen. I divide by my smallest number, which is my nitrogen, so I'm going to divide everything by 1.23. So that's going to give me one nitrogen, 6.98 hydrogens. That's pretty close, so I'm going to call that seven hydrogens, and 5.02 carbons, so I'm going to call that five carbons. And that leaves me with an empirical formula of C5H7N for the nicotine. The three example problems we've done in these videos have only dealt with finding empirical formulas. Let's take this one step further by finding the molecular formula of nicotine. I know that nicotine has a molar mass of 162 grams per mole. And we just found the empirical formula of nicotine to be C5H7N. With that information, let's find the molecular formula. To solve this, I'm going to take advantage of the fact that the atoms in nicotine bond in the same ratio, whether it's the empirical formula or the molecular formula. The ratio of the elements does not change. The empirical formula is just a simplified version of the molecular formula. The empirical unit must go into the molecular unit a whole number of times. Let me show you. We're given that nicotine has a molar mass of 162 grams per mole. That is the molecular mass. C5H7N, that empirical mass, has a mass of 81.12 grams per mole, if you add up the pieces on the periodic table. So if I take the molecular mass and divide it by the empirical mass, well then that will tell me the ratio of how many times the empirical unit goes into the molecular unit. And when I solve this, I get 1.997, so I get 2. The molecular unit is twice the mass of the empirical unit. And you always have to get a whole number. If you get some fraction when you do this calculation, you know that you've calculated your empirical unit incorrectly. So we've discovered that our molecular unit is twice the mass of the empirical unit, which means that I'm going to have c 5 h 7N2, or more simply written as C10H14N2, and that is the molecular formula for nicotine.